Hey gang, Evil Ernie here from ObsidianVapor.com. Hey, uh, I just brought you a review of the Silver Bullet and the Maxi Rough Stack. And then today I was kind of hanging out, just finished lunch, sitting on the couch, watched a little bit of TV, and the doorbell rang. And lo and behold, it was our friendly neighborhood mailman who brought me a shipment of sample stuff that I had ordered um, weeks ago. Uh, I don't know if I can order from this company. I'm not going to say who this company was, but oof. but the package is full of goodies. It's got some neat stuff. I mean, how can you say no to an e-pipe? It's got a good hit to it. It's not bad. I got two e-pipes. This one, I mean, they both look identical. Um, this one is a self-contained battery. Let me make sure I get the right box here. Bear with me. Here, look at the pipe. See? Nice pipe. Yes, pipe. Yes, it's a pipe. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this one um, has an internal battery. It's a sealed battery unit. And you just unscrew the top. and it's got a little mini USB connection to it so you would just take your USB connector I happen to have one hanging you know I got a, a USB hub with about a hundred of these hanging off of it and you just kinda plug it in there and it starts to charge um, so that's kinda cool but then they sent me another one I ordered two pipes and they sent me one of each version they have this is the one with the self-contained battery. This one has a... looks identical. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just how the battery works. This one is, I think, the more traditional one where you actually take your battery and you put it in there. Maybe. Sort of. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, the battery fits inside of it. Um, as far as charging goes, they gave me two of these batteries. They're, um, yeah, they're, they're Chinese batteries. They're lithium ion. I don't know if they're protected. They might be protected. They're 18350s, ICR 18350s. Um, yes, they did send me a charger. Is a happy little charger. Maybe. Anyway, it fits in there like that. Um, I guess that is as far as it goes, huh? Huh, alright. And it plugs. Yeah, they gave you this, but... I mean, that's a European... That round, weird European connection thing going on. But they did give me the... Uh, the American adapter for it. So that's cool. So we'll give those a try here after I get everything charged up, but I figured I wanted to show them to you. The one with the internal battery though is is alright or good to go. Okay. Enough of the pipes. Let me put this stuff together here in a minute. Another cool thing I got, and I forgot that I ordered this, is a pre-made box mod, the Revolution V2. This thing's pretty slick. Um, you can run this a, a couple different ways. It's got a nice lanyard on it. it. The finish on it is that nice rubberized kind of grip coating on it. Um, it looks like an antenna on here. Like you pull it up and be a phone or something. But this unscrews. It's got a 510 connector in it. Um, so you can put your put a nice low res excuse me, cardamizer on it. Uh, it does have a three-way switch, uh, LED, which gives you little LED light things. Why that's there, I have no idea. But it's kind of cool if you like lights. Uh, off, which is what it's in right now, and the bottom, which is on. Now there's a little push button here with a little three green LED uh, meter on it.
it's good. Um, delivers good power. And these things, I haven't even charged. I just got these. I mean, they're still cold from being outside. Um, it also has a little micro USB connector. Let's get our cable again. I might as well just throw this thing on there. Oh, cool. See, it's charging up. I guess when it's all red, it means it's fully charged. Whatever. All right. So the cooler part about this is you can run a, a pre-filled cartomizer on it. No problem. Um, if you take the bottom off, you get the bottle out. Ugh. More like you wrestle the bottle out. There we go. It's a bit tight because it's new. And it's got a squeeze bottle with a needle on it. Came with an extra needle. These are designed to go into the bottom of a Bose cartomizer and fill it up. So, oh man, get a little bit of a dry hit. You give your, on the thumb here, you give your bottle a little bit of a squeeze. The needle comes up through the bottom of the connector and it fills up your cartomizer. Now, I'll have to look around and see if some of my 5 mil bottles would work on this. I'm not sure. I think this is a kind of a proprietary sized bottle. I'm not real sure, but, but that's kind of a cool little deal. It's there if you want it. I probably will never use it this way. I just I like pre-filling my own cartomizers and screwing them on there and away we go. Um, another neat thing is if it leaks, it'll go right into the bottle, which is kind of cool. Uh, on the other side of the bottom from where the bottle uh, door is, is another little door. Alright, so you can put, I mean it's got a drip tip on it, but you can put a spare cartomizer in or an empty cartomizer. Slick, huh? These Chinese people, we got to watch out for them. They're pretty smart. Overall, I like this. It's it's a standard 3.7. It's a box mod. Uh, it does not have a removable battery. Uh, the battery is fixed inside the unit, as far as I can tell. Um, but I imagine you'd probably get a good six months to a year out of one of these. Um, I might carry these. I don't know. I, I kind of dig it. I'm going to mess with it for a little bit, try it out. God, I have so much stuff to try out. Um... For now, though, I'm going to charge this puppy up. Let it hang out. I want to see what that thing does at full strength. Um, so this is what we got. We got the new Evolution. Uh, it came with five pre-filled Bose cartomizers, tobacco flavored, 18 milligrams, and a... Where'd it go? A spare needle. Because you never know when you want to jab somebody in the ass and pump them full of, uh, you know, battery acid or something. Um, also came with the standard USB cable, uh, the adapter and the power adapter. Um, pretty decent boxing, not bad. The uh, I got the two E pipes. I also got a couple of other batteries. I got a, um, a couple tank kits, Ego tanker kits. One of them actually, one of them is a variable volt tank kit, uh, Ego T kit. Uh, it goes between like three different settings, like three, three point seven, and four volt. Um, I haven't figured those out yet. I got to play with them yet, but they're pretty nice. Uh, Thirteen hundred mile with you know nice long batteries, nice finish on them, um, and a regular Ego kit. But those are like the the, the two big things of the the pipes and that that revolution. If revolution, revolution. Um, so those are pretty cool. Um, for the vape meet coming up December 3rd, I will be giving away the uh, Variable Volt Ego Tank Kit. So if you want a Variable Volt Ego Tank Kit, comes with pre-filled cart, you know, tanks and everything, uh, make sure you show up. Colorado Vapors Meet, December 3rd, the foul line in Castle Rock. Go up on my website, obsidianvapor.com. Get details, gives you driving directions, a whole nine yards. All right, um, I think that's it. I think that's all I got. That much out. There's not much out. No, no. Mm. I was kind of hoping it gave you a pipe tobacco, but it's just standard tobacco. I mean, I'll live with it. I mean, hell. I'm a fake man.
Okay, anyway, I'm being stupid now. I'm Evil Ernie. This is Obsidian Vapor Company. ObsidianVapor.com. I'll see you guys around. Bye!